important to understand what are your options when you break a front tooth in the smile zone. Well, one of the most common options is going to be a white filling, otherwise known as dental bonding. Dental bonding is really an amazing tool to fix your broken front teeth because it's conservative, because you can get the colors to match your teeth, and it really works well and it's been around for a while. However, you have to know that if you decide to get dental bonding on your front teeth, you have to have that understanding that it can stain over time and that it can be easily chipped if you're not careful with them. And the main problem really Really is the staining that occurs. If you're a heavy coffee drinker, tea drinker, red wine, blueberries, blackberries, things that have a lot of pigment in it, the composite resin can absorb those stains and over time you will see a white filling on your front tooth get really dark. And there may be a time where that filling gets too dark and it's too noticeable and then you have to change it out again. So although this is a really conservative, affordable option for most people, have that understanding that if you're getting dental bonding done, you may have to get it replaced after a few years or so if the staining gets to a point that it's visible. Now a second option for a broken front tooth that a lot of people don't think about is a porcelain veneer. A veneer is a thin layer of ceramic that gets bonded to the tooth and that ceramic is very stain resistant and it bonds really well to healthy enamel. So if you have a broken tooth but it's not broken to a significant degree, we can use a dental veneer to restore that tooth and for it to look much, much better. So what are the pros? Well, like I said before, it's very stain resistant. It's very conservative. It doesn't require much preparation design. They have really nice optical properties that make it look like your natural tooth. And under the right hands, it can last you a very long time. In fact, I have a few veneers placed on my front teeth that have lasted me over 20 years that I have not had to replace out. Two of them because I have very small peg laterals and one of them because I fractured my tooth close to in half and it's been very stable, it's been very secure, and I'm so glad that I chose that option when I broke them when I was younger. The final option to fix a broken front tooth is gonna be a dental crown. A crown covers your entire tooth, and there are a variety of materials to choose from, whether it's gold, whether it's porcelain, whether it's porcelain fused to metal, whether it's zirconia, and it's actually a really predictable material that's been done in dentistry for years. The only problem with doing a full coverage crown is that you have to prepare a lot of the tooth and whenever you drill away tooth it doesn't come back so if you're trying to be as conservative as possible you might want to try to avoid getting a crown done on a front tooth but it definitely has its place if you have a tooth that's weak if you have severe grinding or clenching habits if you have a tooth where the enamel is worn down into the dentin then a crown might be the best option for you to restore that tooth so that it's functional and so that you can have your smile and confidence again so now that we did a quick review of the treatment options, let's go back to the veneers. When you're designing a veneer to fix a broken tooth, there are a couple principles that we have to abide by. Number one is that we want to minimize the preparation design to grab onto as much enamel or the outermost layer of the tooth as possible. There have been plenty of studies that show that bonding to dental enamel is much stronger than dentin. So if you have a lot of enamel to work with, then a veneer is going to be long lasting. Another major consideration that we have to talk about is how dark the tooth is and what type of color transformation that you want to achieve. Remember that a veneer is very thin and translucent and it can show the tooth underneath it. So if you have a dark tooth and you're making to look that tooth a little bit brighter, then sometimes the veneer might not be the best option depending on how much restorative material there is to mask that discoloration. Another major thing to consider when you're getting a porcelain veneer on a front tooth is that symmetry is really important when you're talking about cosmetic dental cases. If you put a veneer on one tooth and you don't put a veneer on the adjacent tooth, then sometimes our eye can catch the change in restorative material from your normal tooth to the porcelain veneer and it doesn't look natural. And that's why a lot of dentists that are doing cosmetic work, if you have a broken front tooth on one tooth, you may want to consider getting a veneer on the other tooth as well so that you have the same material on both teeth and that your smile looks as natural as possible. And another question I get a lot about porcelain veneers on broken front teeth is what is the preparation design? 
Well, if you have a broken tooth, then one of the most important things to do is to round out any sharp corners or ledges and make sure everything is nice and smooth and contoured so that when you're placing the veneer on, it doesn't get caught up on one of these broken pieces and break. But it's also really important that we have a delineated clear margin so that when we take our impressions and we send it to our dental laboratory for our master ceramist to design a veneer, we can fabricate a veneer that fits your tooth perfectly. So once again, I wanna get you guys out of that mindset that porcelain veneers are just for full mouth reconstruction, full mouth smile makeover cases, because that's just not the truth. One porcelain veneer on a broken tooth can be enough to change your smile and build your confidence again. So next time you're at your dentist, you now have some better ideas about how porcelain veneers can be used to fix your front tooth, as as well as the other options like crowns and white filling. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and I will see you for the next one. Thanks.